Welcome to Manchester United News Channel, your daily source for exclusive updates on the club. Subscribe now and stay one step ahead with the latest information about Manchester United. Don't waste any time. Click the subscribe button and stay updated on everything happening with our club. Let's get to the news. In a surprising turn of events, Eric Ten Hag has officially been dismissed from his role as the manager of Manchester United, a decision that was confirmed on the morning of October 27th. This dramatic shift comes on the heels of the team's disappointing defeat against West Ham United, a result that has left fans and analysts alike questioning the club's direction. The timing of this announcement is striking, especially given that Manchester United now finds itself languishing in 14th place in the Premier League. With only five points separating them from the relegation zone, the club's struggles have been apparent, as they have suffered four losses in their first nine league matches. Many supporters are left to ponder how the once great team has fallen so far from grace. Ruud van Nistelrooy, a legendary figure at the club, is reportedly working with the club on the next steps as they navigate this tumultuous period. His involvement raises eyebrows. Could he be the next to step into a more permanent role, or is he simply a steadying presence in a time of upheaval? Interestingly, Ten Hag's retention over the summer seemed to signal a vote of confidence from the club's hierarchy. However, as the Red Devils have drifted further from European competition, the board has made the tough decision to part ways with the Dutchman. Fans are left speculating about what went wrong and whether there were signs that pointed to this outcome long before it was officially announced. Amidst the turmoil, former United captain Roy Keane has been vocal about the situation, taking to Instagram during a reflective walk to share his insights. In good teams, managers hold players accountable. In great teams, players hold players accountable. His words resonate deeply as supporters wonder if the team's issues extend beyond the managerial level. An official statement from the club expressed gratitude towards Ten Hag for his contribution since his appointment in April 2022. Under his guidance, the team claimed two domestic trophies, including the Carabao Cup in 2023 and the FA Cup in 2024. However, as the club now embarks on the search for a permanent manager, the question remains, who will be the next to take the helm at this storied institution, and can they steer the ship back to calmer waters? Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all the exclusive news about Manchester United. Don't miss any detail about your favorite team. It's extremely important for Manchester United fans. In a shocking turn of events, while Faze, the Belgian defender currently making waves at Leicester City, recently stirred the pot with some controversial remarks about Manchester United. The incident unfolded during an interview that has now gone viral, captivating football fans and igniting heated discussions across social media. FaZe's candid comments not only raised eyebrows but also left many wondering about the dynamics of player opinions in the world of elite football. What exactly did he say, and how might this affect his reputation in the Premier League? FaZe known for his strong performances since joining Leicester City in 2022, seemed unfiltered as he expressed his views on the iconic club. In the interview, he hinted at a lack of respect for United's current management and performance levels, suggesting that they had lost their way in recent seasons. This sentiment is particularly striking coming from a player who, not long ago, was fighting for recognition in the Premier League. His statements drew immediate backlash from fans and pundits alike, with many questioning whether it was wise for a relatively new player to publicly criticize one of the league's most storied franchises. The implications of FaZe's comments extend beyond mere gossip. As tensions rise between Leicester and Manchester United, both on and off the pitch, FaZe's words could ignite a fierce rivalry, particularly as both clubs vie for improved standings in the league. Fans are eager to see how this will play out in their next encounter and whether it will fuel the competitive spirit during match day. Speculation abounds regarding whether FaZe will face repercussions from the footballing community or if he will rally support for his unvarnished honesty. Adding fuel to the fire, FaZe's remarks coincide with a broader narrative about Manchester United's struggles in recent seasons, including managerial instability and inconsistent performances. This context has allowed his comments to resonate with supporters who feel similarly disenchanted with the club's direction with Leicester City also seeking to improve their own fortunes after a challenging season that saw them relegated to the championship. The stakes are high for FaZe as he navigates this delicate situation. As the dust settles on Wout FaZe's controversial remarks, Manchester United fans find themselves at a crossroads. The question on everyone's lips is, 
What do supporters really think about a player from another club publicly criticizing their beloved team? Many fans are grappling with mixed feelings, torn between defending their club's honor and acknowledging the truth in FaZe's criticisms. The social media landscape is buzzing with a variety of opinions, as supporters weigh in on whether his comments are justified or simply a misguided attack. Some United fans argue that FaZe's comments reflect a growing discontent with the current state of the club, resonating with their frustrations about inconsistent performances and managerial changes. Is not wrong, one supporter tweeted. We've been struggling to find our identity for years now. This sentiment echoes a larger concern among the fan base about the club's direction under the current ownership and management. Fans are eager to see whether these criticisms will spark any changes or further ignite debates within the community. Conversely, other fans view FaZe's comments as out of line, insisting that a player of his stature should focus on his own club rather than taking jabs at one of the biggest names in football history. Who does he think he is? Another fan posted. We've had our ups and downs, but that's part of being a big club. He should keep his mouth shut. This reaction highlights the protective nature of United fans, who take pride in their club's legacy and are not easily swayed by outside opinions. As the conversation continues, many United supporters are calling for a united front against criticism from rival players. Some are even suggesting that the team should use FaZe's remarks as motivation when they meet Leicester City on the pitch. Let's show him what Manchester United is made of, one fan exclaimed in an online forum. As the tension builds, it remains to be seen how these dynamics will play out, both in the stands and on the field, as fans rally behind their team in the face of outside scrutiny. As the fallout from FaZe's statements continues to unfold, one thing is clear. The football world is watching closely. How will Manchester United respond to these criticisms? And what impact will this have on FaZe's future interactions within the Premier League? Fans and analysts alike are left on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this unfolding drama. Hey there, supporter. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Manchester United. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.